I know that they have uh, many things going on. I heard something today that kind of disturbed me. I saw on TV where they had all the prisoners from the jail. They had a big jail right there in New Orleans. They had them all sitting on the interstate. And I heard someone say today that they, they allow them to leave. And I'm wondering if that might be your people that's uh, attacking the people around. Because the Muslim people will not do that unless they're these drug addicts. But I don't yeah. know, seriously. Well, those, those inmates are still sitting on the bridge when people were in the Superdome. And when you hear about a lot of the murder and looting and mm -hmm. raping that was going on in the Superdome, mm -hmm. and then it just went out into the cities mm -hmm. uh, where they were just shooting people, and, and it was mayhem. Yes. Uh, it very well, well could have been, but you know what? Most of the people, if you look at their, their, their testimonies, they're talking about young black teenagers. Mm -hmm. So it's the teenage crowd. Well, yeah. uh, it's it's strange, that, you know, but anarchy always happens when the law goes, you know. Yeah. The fear of law, and that, that's probably what these people are. And they, you know, it's just it's just amazing. But I, I know a lot of black people down there, and they're wonderful people. They they love the Lord, and they want to raise their family in peace. And there's very few of these these uh, people you're talking about. Well, you always you have the, the minority that gets the most of the attention. Oh, it's true, true. You know, you always get, I mean, you, you watch these other people on, on the videos on the Internet and on TV, and your heart just breaks. It goes out to them. Oh, it does. You know, it does, and my heart breaks, too. And, you know, I really just want to take this time, because I may never talk to you again, and I just want to let you know that I appreciate you so much. And, and uh, I think that I, I've watched my progression over the years of, of how I, I asked the Lord uh, back in the 90s, I said, what's going on here? And I really meant it, you know, from my heart. And it's amazing the things that I've, you know, been a part of and how I, I've looked back to see what I, who I listened to and how it just progressed on and on and on. But the Lord has me here with you. And as far as I'm concerned, you're tying things all together. That is so true. And, you know, it, it is going to be awful, the things that's going to happen, but, uh, Sherry, I, I just think that uh, God truly has sent you, and he has truly sent you to be a, a voice crying in the wilderness. But, you know, the ones that will hear you is only the ones that God's called. No other will. And, you know, and it just it just uh, breaks my heart to see so many wonderful people that just won't believe what God says. Yeah, you know? they're going to find out the hard way. You know, he's standing me up to warn his people to prepare. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. Miss Sherry, oh, I'm sorry. John, go ahead. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm always mad when I listen to people talk with you, and they always talk over you, and I'm saying, you know, that's very unkind, and, and I guess <laughs> this nervousness, and, and, and even on my part, I just did it, and I apologize to you. Oh, that's but that's... I just did it again, didn't I? Uh, but I want to share something with you, and, and I know you have a limited time tonight, and you're about to go, but I've tried to wait to let other people speak, but... When I first started in this, and, and well, actually this was uh, January 24th, 1999, I, I, I just was, uh, you know, reading my Bible, and I just was praying, and, and something came to me, and I decided to write it down, and I've kept it all this time, and it's amazing, I pulled it out of my Bible today and looked at it, and, and uh, well, the title of the, the chapter right there is just, Never Give Up, <laughs> <laughs> and it uh, really amazes me, and uh, so anyway, may I read this to you, what I, was given to me? I feel in my heart. Hello? Yes. No. Oh, okay. I said, would you mind if I read you this? Oh, no, it's go ahead. Oh, it's pretty short. It's, it's, this is what I, I wrote down. It says, I'm calling the people that they might be one, that they might know that the things that are happening to the right and to the left of them are allowed for the purpose of drawing many into the net. For I will send you out as fishers of men, and I will drive them into the net that there will be a great harvest. Your Yes, judgment, yes, calamity, yes, difficult days, but beyond all this, glory for those who hear and who, uh, not of themselves, but because of my will, are called. I hear this as more, and I'm just too nervous to read it. I, I think I'm just going to email it to you. Okay. And and uh, but the the thing is that I believe with all my heart, Sherry, that you know these things that what you said a while ago was so true, and you you, you struck my heart. Uh, is that yet it, it, the Bible says that we're going to have great adventures or do exploits, as it says. I think just and Solomon said what was will be again, and I think and the Bible says that also that all these things are given to you for example. 
all these old people in the, uh, the Old Testament and all. And you think about it, what happened when Daniel was thrown in the lion's den? Well, those who threw him in was the ones that the Alan lions ate, not him. Those who threw the people, the three young men into the fire, who, who got burned up? Those that threw them into it. <laughs> yeah. And, and when the enemy was at the front and mountains to the side and Red Sea at the back, what did God do to his children? He opened the sea and they walked through on dry land. It's going to be that way again for us. People got to believe the word of God. The only thing that's going to save us is the word. Nothing else. Not arms, not food, not nothing. God will even send ravens to feed us, just like he did I, uh, the, the prophet. Uh, I think that we're living in marvelous times, and I think we can depend on God. He's faithful and just. Thank you, Miss Sherry, and God bless you. All right, well, thank you for calling in. I uh, appreciate hearing from you. And answer those emails. I sent you one asking you if you had food and water. I, I, I am fine because the northern part of the states where my family lives, so I, I come home every other weekend to my family, so it's almost like working out in the... The, uh, you know, out in, if you worked out in the Gulf, it's the same thing. I worked down there. And uh, so, yes, I've lost all that, but I'm fine. I'm really fine. Okay, yeah. Uh, Could you really broke real... my heart? I mean, it was just one of these emails that just really touched me. I mean, I didn't mean to, to do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that I'm like, this poor man just lost everything he has, and he's worried about me staying on the air. Well, I am blessed for my major. Well, Miss Sherry, you, you, and the one thing, I know that I, I bothered me ever since I started listening to you. You've had a cold, and I would like to bless you so that you might get rid of that cold. Okay. <laughs> can I do that for you? Yes, you can. Dear Father in heaven, I just bless my sister in Christ. Lord, bless this thing that seems to linger and, and chase her. Lord, your power is everlasting and your power is thorough. Lord, bless my sister. Keep her safe and her family. And, Lord, just bless her ministry. Thank you for blessing her ministry. And, Father, bless her from the top of her head to the bottom of her feet, her insides to her outsides, the way she goes and the way she comes. Lord, bless that. Bless food that always be available for her and her family. Bless protection to her. Father, you are the only way. You are the only hope. And in you we will, we trust. For it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. Well, thank you for calling in. We're going to wrap up the first hour and come back the second hour. Well, thank you, Ms. Sherry. All right, thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. That's going to wrap up the first hour, folks. I'm so glad he called in. He's one of these people's emails. that totally touched my heart last week when he emailed in right after the hurricane. And had been worried about him, if he had food, if he had water. And, uh, you know, it's one of these things that you just need to get night and start helping fellow citizens, especially when they, they come in contact with you. You've got listeners... And I've got listeners down there that I'm waiting to hear from. Uh, the vitamins, uh, if you're, I put it on my blog. And if you're listening to the show, give me a call or send me an email. Let me know you're doing okay uh, with the vitamins that uh, big supporters that, that got this radio show off the ground last year with me, helping me get it off the ground. And I know they live down uh, in that area. I'm not sure if they're exactly in the hurricane-affected area, but they're in those states, uh, Mississippi, I believe it is. And so, yeah, I'm worried about them, and I haven't heard from them. Uh, but we're going to wrap up the first hour and come back uh, for the second half hour uh, in about five minutes. We'll see you back then, folks.